Hi there everybody, my name is Rob Anderson, magician on the Las Vegas Strip. We're doing a little bit of uh, close-up magic tonight. We've got Jackie and Omar, and they are in from, uh, officially, it's gonna be uh, New, Orleans. New Orleans and Seattle? Boston, Boston. Boston. New Orleans and Boston uh, by way of Lebanon. So, uh, we're showing a little bit of magic tonight. I just saw you two holding hands a second ago, and in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to hold hands for part of our first trick. Okay, so how long have you two been together, dating? I love that, a year and five months. So on your first dates, when you got to know each other, maybe a year and five months, go somewhere around there. You went on some first dates, you got to know each other, you held hands at some point in those dates getting to know each other. I wanna take you back to those first dates with our first trick. Uh, you're gonna hold your right hand out like this, Omar. Jackie, you're gonna hold your right hand like this. Perfect. I'm gonna give you a card here. We will use, it'll be the two of spades I'm gonna give you there for this. It's gonna go inside your hand. The two's gonna go there. Your hand will go on top of that. So you're gonna be sort of holding hands like on some of those first dates that you had like that, okay? I wasn't there, I'm stepping back. Romance, bloom though, on those dates with you two. Romance is going to bloom tonight as well because I'm going to ask you to hold on to another card. We will use the hearts, 10 of hearts. It's a better card for you. I want you to have that card. You felt me tap the hearts there, yes? Represent love. I want you to have 10 years, many more years after that, of love. We're gonna give you that, okay? I'm gonna remember that you can actually feel it there. Yes, you feel it? Yeah. I'm gonna switch those cards just like that then, in that case, okay? Now, where are the hearts at? We need the hearts. Do you have the hearts? Look, check it out. There we go. That's a good one. Better, nice. better card for you to have. Better card for you to have. Thank you, thank you. A little warm up, a little warm up. You two, you, you found each other. You bonded. That's a special thing, very special. I want to talk about that with a little bit of magic, okay? A little bit of magic and a Sharpie. Did you bring a Sharpie? I didn't no, I brought one for you. There you go. <laughs> you stop. Uh, we're going to get two cards here. Omar, go ahead and say stop anywhere you want, okay? Stop. Okay, cool. We'll use the seven of diamonds. It's going to be your card. Please uncap the marker for me. Okay. You can uncap that. And please put your name on the seven near the bottom part of the card right there, please. Name or initials. We know that's your card when we see it. We'll see that, okay, we've got Omar K. Omar, uh, your initials on there, we know that's your card when we see it again. We will see that again momentarily. It'll be somewhere face up near the middle with your name on it. Very easy to find when we go to find this card again. Very easy to find. Uh, with your marker, I'm gonna have you sign a card, please. If you could sign the four of clubs near the top part of the card right there, yes, perfect. And yeah, Excellent, Jackie A. I'm gonna take the marker back. Let's cap that, where's the cap? Perfect. Uh, now your card is face up. I'll take that. Jackie, your card right there is going to go face, what's this dry, down in the deck. I won't find them. They will find each other like you two found each other. I'm going to squeeze the deck. Both of you, please squeeze with me like that. Think back to a bonding moment. Any bonding moment as you imagine your cards finding each other closer and closer to the middle of the deck, coming together. Let go. You just made your cards find each other in the middle of the deck. We're gonna find one card face up because we left it that way. It will be right there, it is, okay. But the one right next to it, we'll take them out together and we'll see if it's the one you signed. Now, I believe you put your initials, Jackie, on, uh, it was the four, wasn't it, yes? They found each other, just like you two. I wanna bond these two cards. We're gonna move them closer together and try to bond these two cards. I'm gonna give them one rip, one rip, means I have to go to Target and get new cards. No problem. A second rip, kind of messes up our situation there. Third rip though, will completely intertwine these two cards. We have two intertwined cards right now. Omar, could you please pinch and hold Jackie's initials on the top card? Yes. Jackie, could you please pinch and hold Omar's initials on the bottom card? Yes, keep holding on, don't let go. You will feel this as it happens as I remove only the part here that we do not need, leaving you with an impossible, let go now, bonded, souvenir, representing the both of you. Little, that is awesome. Thank you, little souvenir for you to take home. All right, grand finale. Help me out, Jackie, okay? I would like you please to think of a happy memory for me, please. A happy memory though that you have made with Omar. Could be anything. I will not guess this or try to figure it out. It's only for you to know, all right? It's a lot of happy memories. She's smiling already. That's a good sign. You've given her a lot. Good man. Good. Good. We, we have, we, we've had good times. That's great. Some memories are already coming to mind. You're going to focus on one memory. 
a picture is flashing in front of your eyes, I think you've got it. Here's what you're going to do, all right? A lot of details are going to start coming to mind about this memory. I want you to focus on one specific detail, and that's going to be the time, the approximate time that this memory happened to the nearest hour between 1 and 12. As if you could picture a round clock over Omar's head, visualizing in your mind the numbers between 1 and 12 on that clock, you're just going to think about the number that's closest to that hour. Can you do that for me? Okay. Just think about that. Don't say, just think. Great. So right now, you're thinking of a time between 1 and 12, a number that only you know. Yes? Yeah. Great. Here's 3, 2 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. Again, 1 around the clock to 12. I know you're thinking of one of these numbers. I have to figure out what that number is. I will try to do that by reading your mind. Okay? Chris Angel style. Very serious. <laughs> That's actually the show we were Yeah? Doing. Well then, are you ready? That's what he says, right? Okay, serious, very serious. I'm kidding, it doesn't do anything. It's nonsense. Sorry. You did glance down at the clock, though. All I'm looking for it. There it is. Little tell. You glanced down at the clock. Give me an idea of where you may be thinking of. I'm going to eliminate some cards. I know you're thinking. It's very easy. I know you're obviously thinking of either a low number or a high number right now, okay? Yes? Some nodding, some approval when I said high number. I do believe it's a higher number. I don't think it's anything low between one and six. I am eliminating one through six. That is not your number, correct? Yes or no? Correct. Whew. All right. I know you're thinking of somewhere between 7 and 12 o'clock right now, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11 o'clock, or 12 could be your number. Nothing at 7. I'm going to commit, though, to this number you thought of, 8 through 12 o'clock, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 could be your number. Possibly 8, 9, 10, or 11, or 12 could be your number. I think I've got it on that one. You might have seen a little, slight little tell. She's got a great poker face. Great <laughs> poker face. I believe the number that you're thinking of right now was not 7 o'clock. It wasn't 8. It wasn't 12. It was none of these. You were thinking of 11, yes? Great. Thank you for watching The Magic tonight. I really appreciate you both. I will leave the 11 o'clock card with you as a souvenir as I take the rest of mine. I'll leave it with Omar, actually. And it, Omar, hey, great card, man. Very good card. Why don't you take that? Whenever you'd like, you can show her that card, okay? I know you said no. No, I know you said not to go down. Oh my god. Congratulations. <laughs>